now to provide opening remarks for the Islands Arising plenary session. I'd like to introduce the University of Guam Senior Vice President and Provost, Dr. Anita Borja Enriquez. Dr. Enriquez is the former Dean of the School of Business and Public Administration at the University of Guam. She has experience as a Corporate Planning and Development Manager and as a management consultant. She established her first business at the age of 19 and is the founding vice president of the Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. In her career, she has focused on initiatives to strengthen Guam's business growth and development for women, the youth, veterans, and small businesses. Hoffa Dan, welcome Dr. Enriquez. Bananas and juice, it's in half a day to everyone. I'm very honored and pleased to uh, open up uh, the theme of Islands Are Rising for the Economic Recovery, which will feature gems from our distinctive speakers, which then operationalize locally as island solutions. And ultimately, we hope will yield meaningful impact. Now you heard from President uh, uh, of the University of Guam, uh, Thomas Price, how the institution is navigating to become recognized as a research university centered in island wisdom. The amazing feature by our A team with the EBSCOR initiatives, uh, partnering across other universities, local and regional communities, global associations, and many more are just a perfect example of how we reach out as a leading partner institution to help leverage prime expertise to build local and regional capacity so that we can perpetuate uh, the, uh, the goal of, of understanding and certainly uh, preserving our coral reefs and our ocean life. On land, the institution has been contributing to the island's economic recovery by being part of the collaborative efforts to produce a safe community, resilient partnerships with the Office of the Governor and the Department of Public Health and Social Services, among others, and multiple campus support from our School of Health, Global Learning and Engagement, and other units demonstrate meaningful collaboration that has contributed to our island solutions to support the health and well being of our people to help our island recover economically. The vaccine center located in the university's Cabo Fieldhouse is key to this. And as the island recovers, we are confronted with the need to pivot to grow our economy. So, how is the university assisting with the diversification of our economy? In a recent article by UOG professor and economist Dr. Roseanne Jones, she noted, the governor is moving in the right direction by identifying economic diversification as a priority for our economic growth. She adds, the governor needs to put forward a timeline where we identify the industries and then move forward with the policies that will make this happen. The strategy needs to include providing workforce development and training. Uh, this is from uh, a recent article uh, just uh, uh, earlier this week. And I wholeheartedly agree. The global pandemic that has taken us beyond one year has proven how collaborative efforts and innovation can produce a vaccine in record time. How does this translate towards our collaborative efforts to respond to this major disruption to our island economies? The major federal rescue money comes at an opportune time for new investments towards a diversified economy. With university experts aligned with external professional communities and expanded networks throughout the globe, the university is racing towards meeting those tweak demands by developing the competencies of its students beyond existing ones of critical thinking, quantitative reasoning, effective communications, and information literacy. Competencies that broaden students' ability to not only be anticipatory, but also to be resourceful and innovative to better adapt and respond accordingly in any situation, including the use of technology. Our academic enterprise has been engaging students to explore sustainability using drone technology, adopting cybersecurity in its criminal justice and computer science majors, learning Asian wisdom practices through traditional seafaring and cultural preservation, among other innovative initiatives. As we navigate through the session of islands arising for aquaculture industries, I add, ancient island wisdom gives way to looking at traditional practices and knowledge that can be leveraged to solve current and future problems. Traditional sustainable fishing practices and new innovative partnerships through aquaculture are ways we are rising to sustain culture and food security on island. The university is an important contributor through a public-private partnership fostered with CoreSeed that has leveraged sustainable business practices 
and the university's research interest to build the aquaculture capacity across the island of Guam and to cultivate an aquaculture export industry through pathogen-free shrimp breed stock. And as we conclude with islands are rising for the circular economy, you'll find a plethora of contributions that are magnified through leveraged expertise not found in your respective island community. I think about my Sir Wu in Kinmen Island off of Taipei, who inspired me through the recycling of uh, artillery uh, and bomb casings that produce super sharp knives. A single bomb casing could produce 60 knives ranging from pocket knives to beautiful cutlery or a high quality machete like the one that he gifted me during a uh, 2012 uh, visit of the uh, US scholar delegation to which I was honored uh, to, to lead. Drawing from product, product life cycles and social responsibility, we see collaborative efforts through the EBSCOR program to give rise to the circular economy, which will be discussed later this morning. The new makerspace and innovation hub established by the Center for Island Sustainability will marry innovative solutions with recycled waste, such as the example illustrated with bomb cases and Meister Wu at Kinmen Island. Through transfer technology, transfer knowledge, and indigenous resources, you can imagine the innovative offerings that will result. New solutions require ongoing innovation and sound risk-taking and decision-making. As a former and Sophian understudy, my students have learned that change is constant and appropriately responding to disruptions means we need to always be prepared to pivot. Having a resilient core is critical in order to respond accordingly with strength and agility. Building workforce capacity and providing solutions to support the island's industry and the economy is at the core of what we provide as an institution of higher learning. The resilient leadership at our School of Health resulted in nursing seniors agreeing to accelerate their graduation last year and with the Global Learning and Engagement Division leverage funds to certify caregivers, approximately 200 contract tracers, including trained trainers partnered with the University of California, San Francisco for all sectors including outbreak management training and providing data entry uh, capacity for the Department of Public Health and Social Services. Innovative efforts by the School of Business and Public Administration through a grant from the Governor's CARES Act funds supported the UOG COVID response initiative, which included the Consolidated Economic Information and Recovery Portal. The UOG Guam Safe Certificate Program recently launched in partnership with the Guam Visitors Bureau and the Community Research Initiative which study the impact of COVID-19 on local businesses and restaurants. Okay. The University of Guam strategic planning theme is Parahulu or ever upward. Its strategic intent is to transform lives and advance communities. Achieving this through local resources alone isn't sufficient, requiring us to leverage multiple partners and exter external funding to boost the experiences of our students, to build their capacity and to benefit our communities across multiple dimensions in the areas of water safety, food security, and others identified as part of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And finally, new island sustainability competencies are being developed to arrive at an interdisciplinary island sustainability certificate program that will support the new green economy. Kicked off with an introduction by Dr. Christopher Boone, Dean of the School of Sustainability at Arizona State University, the Island Sustainability Program Committee representing a cadre of University of Guam faculty from every college and school, including uh, our, our Centers for Excellence at Weary and Marine Lab, have been meeting to design a sustainability program that will foster the sustainable leaders and practitioners we need. UOG's Island Sustainability Certificate serves as a stepping stone for our return to a more sustainable lifestyle. The vision for this program is that students will be equally prepared to make personal ecological choices that help them adopt a more sustainable lifestyle, as well as to engage in community action towards the responsible management of natural resources to meet the needs of present and future generations. Our students and our graduates will be able to design the most appropriate interventions that reflect thoughtful consideration of the blue and green economy frameworks, as well as Micronesian ways of resilience, concepts that have been embedded with our, within our region's traditional cultural practices for millennia. This is a nice complement of to the G3C initiative discussed in the first day of our conference as part of the Guam Green Growth Three initiative. The Guam Green Growth Commitment provides the island community the opportunity to help Guam achieve sustainability by 2030. Business 
campuses, nonprofit organizations, educational institutions, and community groups can participate in this endeavor through sustainable efforts that work towards each of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. This program was created by our very own UOG Professional Master of Business Administration Cohort 16 and continues to be a partnership between the Center for Island Sustainability and the University School of Business and Public Administration. Now, the University of Guam strategic planning theme, uh, Parahulu or Ever Upward, and its strategic intent uh, to transform lives and advance communities. And I believe I've already talked about this, but what we hope that leveraging through collaborative partnerships, transfer knowledge, transfer technology, being able to inspire students and, and bring them to a state of, of being, a state of knowing to sustain not only our island, not only our region, but our around the globe, that we are very proud of the work that is being done by our scholars, our scientists, our students and graduates, and we look forward to uh, contributing even more as we move forward. So enjoy the rest of the sessions and uh, thank you very much, Susan Mossy.